personal one. Okay, whenever you're ready. Ready? Good. Okay. And this right here is the projected mock lottery draft. What is a lottery draft? The lottery draft is basically the worst teams in the league from the season before. They give, essentially it's the, the, the bottom half of the league. So there's 30 teams in the league, the bottom 15. But in the lottery, you really don't want to focus on the top 10. If you have a top 10 pick, then that means you have the chance of drafting the best player out of college. Right now, the number one player in the country out of college is Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson plays for the University of Duke. He was the number one player in the country coming out of high school, and he's a freshman in college right now, and he's still the number one player coming out of college. He's gonna be in the NBA next year. There's no reason for him to stick, stick around in college. He's clearly the best. He's clearly at a pro level already, so he's going to the league next year. Now, with that being said, he is like 99.9% Sure, he's gonna go. We're well, not he's sure, but everybody's sure he's gonna go number one. Like he's definitely gonna be the number one pick. So the question isn't exactly where is Zion gonna go? Because whoever has the number one pick in the draft, this upcoming draft for 2019, is basically gonna draft him. As of right now, here are I guess the top ten worst teams from worst to least worst. So the Knicks are the worst team right now. And then you go Phoenix, Cleveland, Chicago, Atlanta. Atlanta has Two picks because they took one from Dallas on the trade that was made earlier in the year. And now we go all the way down, and then this is the big one for us, the one we want to focus on, Washington. Because given our situation, the fact that we can even end up with a top 10 pick, I don't think that was in anybody's minds at the beginning of the season. But now that we do have a top 10 pick, this is a very strong draft coming into the NBA. All of these names on the board can really help improve your team, your franchise, not just for the following year, but for years to come. Zion is obviously gonna go number one, so the only question would be is who's actually gonna get the number one pick? Right now, New York is listed to get the number one pick, but because of trades and all different types of things that teams do to possibly move up a spot or maybe trade players, who knows if they will continue to stay at number one. Is it in their best benefit to stay at number one? Yes, because they just traded away their best player to Dallas, which is the reason why Dallas isn't here anymore. They traded away their best player to Dallas, somebody that they also drafted number one overall uh, a couple of years ago, Porzingis. I don't know if y'all heard of him. Tall, like Yugoslavian, whatever dude. Anyways, he was the number one pick in New York. He was a big deal. He got injured uh, last year or earlier in the season. They pretty much sat him the whole season. He wasn't happy in New York, so he requested a trade. It just wasn't working out, and it was in New York's benefit to trade them because they ended up getting a lot of trade pieces or assets in return, and one of them being that they can make a lot of trades during the pick to get younger players. So he's gone. We can't. We really shouldn't talk about him because he's going to go to the number one pick, and that is not going to be the Wizards. We're basically here to talk about who the Wizards should draft. This is, it gives you a picture of what the top ten picks are going to look like, but we're focused on the Wizards. The Wizards right now have are weak in the center position. We could use a strong center. We got Thomas Bryant over the summer from the Lakers. We brought in Bobby Portis from the Bulls. We made some trades. The problem is both of those players are going to become free agents at the end of the summer. With them becoming free agents at the end of the summer, the big discussion is, are we willing to pay them to keep them, and how much are we willing to pay them to keep them? So. We can either pay them to keep them, or we can go chase a player. Uh, a lot of websites have us drafting DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre Hunter goes to the University of Virginia. He played last night. They lost to Florida State University in the ACC semifinal. He's a really good player. He's a small forward. I personally would prefer if we got a, a center. He plays small forward, but he can play big. Honestly, if somehow the Wizards can maybe even move up and get a top five pick, because the way that the season has been going, don't forget that John Wall is going to be gone pretty much till not next season, the following year. So 2022, he'll be back. He'll be 30 years old at that point, and he will come back to the NBA basically missing two years of playing basketball, which is huge, obviously. He's not going to be in shape. He's going to take a pound to get into rhythm. He's not going to be the same player he was before he left. That's just... It is what it is. That's realistic. We can't, you know, sugarcoat that. 
So I'm not saying we have to abandon him because he also signed a super max extension with us. So he's going to be with us for a long time. But we can't put all that pressure on Bill. I really like RJ Barrett. I really like Cam Reddish. I really like Romero Langford. And honestly, I like John Morant as well, but him along with Zion, I feel like are both probably gonna be top three picks. Ja's really good, like really good. He doesn't get spoken about too much because he goes to uh, Murray State University, which is, they're not the best basketball team when you compare them to like Duke, University of Carolina, UVA, Clemson, Syracuse. They're not up there, but he's a talent, and he's definitely going to be in the league, and he'll probably definitely be a top three pick. Can the Wizards go up and get him? We would have to get, I think, a top three pick in order to get him. I don't really see that happening. I don't think we have enough assets to be able to get a top three pick. Honestly, I don't even think we can get a top five pick, but if we can move up somehow maybe to six, seven, you know, seven six, and maybe squeeze into five, you know, Honestly, this is the area we want to be right here. This is where we want to focus on. We want to get the five, six, seven pick. We want to move up just a little bit more from the eighth pick. The eighth isn't bad because, like I said, honestly, with all of these players here, you're going to get a good player. There's a lot of talent in this draft. But if we can move up and somehow, somehow sneak away and get R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish, Romeo, I don't think John's going to be there, but if somehow he falls and we can get him, these are all extremely good players that will help our team immediately. Not how we're doing Troy Brown Jr. right now. We have a player that we drafted last year. He was the first round pick, 15th overall. And he's in a perfect situation right now to get a lot of minutes, to get some experience with the team. And we just simply don't play him. It's not like he's not athletic. It's not like he's not talented enough. Clearly, he's good enough to be in the league. He's been playing for us every now and then. He'll get a few minutes, but he needs to play a lot more. He needs to get a lot more playing time, especially as a rookie. Like The only way that they're going to develop is with playing time. So these are the type of guys that there's no hesitation in terms of should he start or should he not start. You can throw him in, in the rotation if you need him. So like I said, if the Wizards can move up, to a 5, 6, 7 pick. I'm not mad with the 8th pick. I'm not mad. I think that's okay. I think the fact that we even got a top ten, uh, top 10 pick in the draft would be extremely, you know, that's a, that's a boost. But I think these three players that I circled would make an immediate impact on us. And I don't forget, we still have Jabari Parker that I think we should re-sign more than re-signing Bobby Portis, more than re-signing Thomas Bryant, just because he's so young. Thomas Bryant is young too, but I think you should only commit to Thomas if you're really going to commit to him. We shouldn't throw all this money to players and not commit to them. These are the picks that we need to get. The Washington, Washington Wizards have the number eight pick overall. Like I said, if we can keep moving up, but we can take one of these players, that'd be great. Zion is off the board, so forget about him. I would honestly gladly take DeAndre Hunter, DeAndre Hunter. I'm not mad about it. If we end up with him, I'm not mad. He's a great player as well. And the reason why I, I'm picking these players specifically, I just feel like, one, they're going to help our team immediately. Two, the way that their game is, it looks like it translates to NBA basketball. A lot of these players, they, they got game. They're going to do fine in the league, but it's going to take a little bit of development, kind of like how we're working with Troy Brown. But these guys, I almost feel like they're NBA ready. Cam Reddish, RJ Barrett, they're NBA ready. So if we can sneak our way up and somehow end up with a top five pick, even if it's the fifth pick, that's okay. Atlanta would be our best option to make a move because they have a pick right after them. So they wouldn't be taking too much of a loss if they gave one up. I mean, I even take the sixth pick, whatever, to move us up. We can't put all this pressure that we put on Bill this year. We can't allow Bill to play as many minutes as he played this year. He's going to get hurt. And down the road, he's going to be in the same situation that we put Wall in, which is playing him way too much, knee injuries, heel injuries, all of this. And no player is going to admit to an injury. If they feel okay enough, like Wall and like every other player that's competitive, they're going to play through the injury if it's only a nick. But those nicks add up, and next thing you know, you got a long-term injury. I'm Inside Stop Miguel, a.k.a. the DMV Wiz Kid. This has been an NBA 2019 mock draft. Bang,